Lewis, we're down here at uh, the VIP office where mm. you're about to put pen to paper with oh, my yeah. boss and now your manager yeah. in Steve Wood, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exciting times. Well, it is, you know, because I don't think we've had a heavyweight for a long, long, long time, mate. Mm. You know, uh, I remember Lewis, uh, no, 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 um, Paul Drago, he started his career as a heavyweight. And then we had a kid called Adam Mackay from Blackburn. He was a, a big lad, but... Uh, not for a long time, mate. No, no, no. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's, uh, I just thought, like I said, I had the, uh, had a bit of uh, hiatus away from it. I did, obviously, box amateur. But I think with the pro game, especially uh, coming into like this new generation with the pros and the heavyweights, it's, uh, I don't know, I just think, I think there's a lot of opportunity there with heavyweights, especially. Especially at the professional ranks. I think the bars are a lot, uh, if you jump jumping in a middleweight, you can start off and the boys are, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a very, very high bar, but I think with heavyweights, there's a lot of opportunity there, personally. Definitely, definitely, yeah. and, and arguably, Britain is dominating the heavyweight division. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, over, yeah. over on the other, obviously, other side of the pond, I know they've got Wilder, and they've got, they've got a few coming up, and all they have, like, Jared Anderson and everything, but in terms of really, you've got Joshua Fury, you got White, you got Chisora's, you got, you know what I mean? The list is almost endless. Exactly, yeah, and there's people coming up as well, so, yeah. like I say, very and good And that time. new signing, the, uh, the kid who's just turned over, 18-year-old kid. Yeah, yeah, Rico. Yeah, 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 yeah very good. He's, uh, he's obviously um, a lad from, you know, uh, Sharp Style, obviously, Jake Eap, come up with him a lot in uh, the England camps and stuff like that and he's obviously very talented, he won the Worlds isn't he? That must have been strange for you because that's where you, 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 you're training out of, you're back at Sharp Style with, uh, with uh, Andy Abro and Brian Moody. Yeah. Um, but when you were there, mm. you were the only grown up. Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, did, yeah, <laughs> not, not just because you were yeah, the biggest yeah, yeah. kid there, but you were also yeah. the he oldest, you, you were the only senior there and, and all the young kids that were fighting out at that gym were, were phenomenal, absolutely mm. phenomenal. I mean, the, the amount of national champions Andy and Brian produced were, were quite phenomenal. Oh, frightening. If you look at, at the end of the day, if you look at the gym, it's like the talent that's come out of there and it's not just a lot of the, a lot of other gyms, they might have the same amount of talent, this, that and the other, but if you look at how many lads they had in the gym, I think bar one or two all national champions. If you Everyone. look at if you look at even lads that have come out of the gym that obviously aren't there now. If you look at uh, well, obviously I know Levi's uh, Levi's, uh, uh, but if Levi and Nels, do you know what I mean, getting bronze in the world. It's not a case of like now saying oh, best Layton in got Britain. Silver in the do you know what I mean? You got Leighton exactly. And I think Corey was the only kid that hadn't got uh, Corey Scott was the only kid who hadn't got a national title. But, yeah, yeah, he did. But he's uh, gone and done recently, it recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not it. even a case of like even though they've come from the gym. You like personally you can't say that they've gone to the gym and learned a load of magic they've, they've learned what they've learned you know under Andy and obviously of course under Brian yeah. but uh, but in terms of the the, the content of what you learn at Sharp Style it's I've been to, you know what I mean I've been to other gyms and, and it's just it's like black and white mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's my well let's go back to that then because like I was saying you were, you were the, the only senior there yeah and and did really well I mean I filmed you winning the North West Regional Final um, against a kid called Ruben Wall yeah he was a giant of a man because you were fighting as a as a super heavyweight yeah but you weren't no 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 I was you just know, I was, yeah just yeah. literally a just kilo or two yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and and so really you know you could be stepping with kids who were as much as 20 kilos every year yeah, which yeah. actually was, the, was case. the case a lot of the time yeah twice uh when I fought Ruben he was uh 30, about 30 kilo I think it was about 95 that day so he was 125 on the day <laughs> but I say big lad you know what I mean definitely feel it but then uh I remember one trip down, I went to uh, Elmsmere Port and I fought a lad who was 6'8 and he was, I'm only 6'2, I say only 6'6, like I'm small, <laughs> but he was 6'8 um, and he was 125 as well. But again, this this just went to show though at the time, like I say, I bought, not Ruben, Ruben, that was a good fight, that was a good close fight. But a lot of Elmsmere Port, 6'8, do you know what I mean? And, and, I, and I boxed his head off really, yeah. so like, and it really, I stuck at it as well, not just that, I seemed to, I, I was able to get on the front foot. Do you know what I mean? Considering how big he was, you'd expect it to be on the, uh, obviously on the other and side. Just use, purely use your boxing. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and, and, and that's what proved. That's what proved to me. It's not always about how big. Of course, it helps, and obviously now I'm a lot bigger. I feel like it's just a lot more comfortable in there with the bigger lads. But it's, it just goes to show that you know boxing ability and the boxing IQ it goes above everything. You be as big as you want it, as hard as you want. Do you know what I mean? And that's what uh, obviously I've learnt a lot under Andy.
yeah, well, obviously that environment, you know, where we just spoke about it, you know, champion after champion being produced, you know, two or three mm. champions every year, na national champions. Yeah, yeah. Not North, not Northwest region was a was a minimum, wasn't it? Yeah, of course um, it was. Yeah. But on that year I filmed you, I think it was 2018, you went on all the way to the national final. Yeah, to the final. Um, the, yeah, the, the, uh, the under 10s, I didn't, uh, obviously, uh, I, I think it, I didn't ever go to the, uh, obviously, with the elite. No, no, but, but still, 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 though, yeah, yeah, of course, course yeah, still good, yeah. Um, but, um, so so you, you did that, but then that's when it, you took a little bit of a break. So so I had, so basically I had that, um, obviously, that was like around October, November, isn't it, when they have the finals, and then I had the Christmas, and then I think I had um, I had two uh, two or three more. I remember I fought in a I fought in the New Year again with a Ruben Wall. I fought in February and I uh, beat him very very close again. We were just stood again. Got there, he was ten kilo lighter than he was. <laughs> he had a comb over. Do you know what I mean? It, obviously, he come for business, mate. And I was I was had like three weeks of training. I still managed to beat him. Uh, he's small ring and that, so he's a bit more toe to toe than I'm usually. Obviously, I was usually used to. And then a week after, uh, not a week after, like a few weeks after, I fought up in Wigan uh, against a lad. Uh, and he was, I come in, he was only about 92. And I think what is, I underestimated him. He was a bit younger, he, but he was just short, stocky uh, fight, which obviously can be a lot of people's now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Short, stocky, built little, do you know what I mean? Little pit bull sort of thing. Especially when you've been talking about fighting these giants. Big geezers, and he's down here. And like I say, I'd sooner fight, I think, the bigger lads, if anything, because you can get them and it'd be a bit tricky. But he come in waiting, waiting, uh, and he just come and unfortunately during the fight, stupidly, obviously, which Andy won't let me forget about, I dipped my head in, and he's had a bad clash of heads, and as I pulled away, there was the three of them there, big mirage of him, like Rocky, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Three of him. And then I knew I'd like I had a man and then after the fight come, I lost that on only on a split, these two fights, only on the split, I still mm -hmm. stood and had it. But I knew getting the decision, I knew then oh, I was somewhere right, ears were ringing and that. So I went upstairs and then basically I ended up in the hospital. I had like a TBI, do you know what I mean? Like the concussion of like the worst yeah. in it, you know what I mean? And then uh, I had muscle damage. So for like a few weeks then I would, I would bug out, I could have looked up and my eyes stay still and that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> More comical now I look back on it. But um, but like I say, I had the, uh, obviously I had a bit of injury, which is part of the sport at the end of the day, it's not as huge, but once you go from the, I think once you go from the hard life of boxing and then you go back to like, I had a summer off, got a little holiday and that, and then I just never really got back into it, but I was always training. There's always a lot that. of distractions in Blackpool, isn't oh, there? Oh, 100%. And especially yeah, when yeah. you're a big lad, yeah, and yeah. you can fight a little bit. Yeah, so everyone yeah. wants, not, you, yeah, everyone wants you out with them, don't they? You know what I mean? Of course, it's just, it's just exactly, it's not this one. Once you go away from it and that, and you get like, do you know what I mean? You just get to start going back to socialising, like that. I will get back in and it never really come. And I was still training and stuff like that, and still sort of see, like, I'd see Abs course, and I'd still be training, but, Few other than that, it's come to a few years. Uh, it obviously, come to a few years. Well, well I, I bumped into you. Yeah, uh, the last interview yeah. I did with young Jacob Bro down yeah. at Sharpsdale because you was training and you were getting ready for was it um, a kickboxing fight? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was in um, uh, November or December. I think it was in December, but that was exactly. But I had all that time and then I went away. I was in IB for, but I was training over in IB for. I was I went away to a bit some Muay Thai and kickboxing and stuff like that. So I was still always training and still always sparring. Mm. Train still six times a week. Do you know what I mean? It's still pretty. Uh, but, but it was good for you because it's allowed you to develop into the was, man right. that you are exactly, now. You know, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and if you want to compete as a heavyweight, mm. this is something that you needed to do anyway. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I was still I was still training and active in that. And it were even a case people that like, jump on the weights do this. I then. I've always been very, uh, very interested in actual training and like, and, and do you know what I mean? The, not as much the science behind it, but like, I, I was still always training. It's, it's not like something that's optional for me. Regardless of what I'm doing, I can't just go and lift weights and fling medicine balls about. I need, um, it's like a normal man, do you know what I mean? I need to go and hit things and <laughs> all that. I'd still be training, plenty of pads, plenty of sparring, but there was always that little bit and I knew, I knew me out, I'd always come back to it and then but with, with Abs when, uh, when I bumped Abs into you, and can I say I'd not seen you since the uh, filming you in that Northwest Regional Final, no. um, I, 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 you'd, you'd perch up the interest when I'd watch you. Because yeah, yeah, like yeah. I say, you know, you, you're a big guy, you were light on your feet, I knew you had a bit of filling out to do. And then when I, when I bumped into you, I, I wasn't sure whether it was you or not. Because you were so much bigger, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. I was like, you know, and then you went, yeah, it is, and I went, all oh, right, nice one, and you, you, you were talking about it. Then you was just, 
hinting that you might be coming yeah, back. Coming back, yeah, yeah. I've always, I've always had the fingers. I've always had the thought, and like I say, I always, always talk to abs and that, regardless if I'm boxing or not. Do you know what I mean? Because like I say, I've always, I've always trained. I've always been around. You know what I mean? I always talk to him, but. I always had the niggle. The worst thing you can have, the worst thing you can have with anything, is regrets. Is regrets. You know what I mean? So we was out. I think we was maybe just like we was, we was just out for some like food or something around Christmas, and he's like, and I said, listen, I said, I love you. I said, I've been thinking about it for ages, but I didn't know if it was like because I know obviously it's now pro gym. I didn't know if it was door shut or what was it, or I don't know if it was more like. Um, like well, a bit, just, to just explain to people. Yeah. Sharp style within the space of what seven years. From uh, it first opening its doors, uh, produced a shed load of champions, yeah. and then because yeah, fighter for wanted fighter, to, for fighter yeah, more than more than any gym, phenomenal. You know what I mean, more than any gym. But because he wanted to concentrate on his son's professional career, yeah. uh, and it, there was a lot of distractions because every weekend course, yeah. he was taking the kids sparring, to, to shows, going yeah. fights, going here and there. Yeah. So he, he said for his his son's sake, he, he had to concentrate on Jake mm. and. Uh, but he's still got a room for a, just a few more fighters course, course, uh, yeah. to train pro mm. and you're fortunate to be one of them. Fortunate, yeah, very, very fortunate. Yeah. You, you've got to admit, I don't know what Andy does mm. and I've been down there loads of times, but it is magic, isn't oh, it? It's really, I, honest, like I say, I've been, I was still in awe even now in his trade, like I said, I've been in the gym, in and out. Obviously, in and out more when I was at like 12, 13, 14, when you're doing whatever else. But and then I was I was in there pl like plenty from there. But like even now, I'm in awe of what he teaches because I can go, I can learn something from him. And obviously with Brian and everything. And like and then I, and bear in mind he took me. He did take me to like England camps to just to spar and stuff like that. When yeah. I was straight in, he threw me straight in the deep end. And when none of this like, oh, we might spar it. Like he threw me straight in the deep end everywhere. Obviously, it's sink or swim sort of sport, innit? But he'd throw me in and like, in these, like, obviously, not, not, I mean, not to slay anyone off, but like, even like these top England coaches or a coach from the gym, I go in changing rooms and they're like, one, two, yeah, step off. One, two, yeah, step off. Well, and I'm sad, me and Abs a lot, but I do pads with him and it's like, I'm, you know what I mean? It's like I'm in a fight. Or you go and I learn little techniques from other coaches and I just think, like, he, just from what he's taught me, I think I wouldn't ever do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I learn stuff from him. And it's real, we're, we're going over situations in the gym. We're not just coming in and going, right, let's work on this chat, let's do that. As much as we do that and we'll drill, we might drill there's, the jab There's always an method hour. behind his madness, there's isn't always there? a Exactly, and and, he'll, and he won't just, you go to a lot of gyms as well now, and they've all got a style. They're either hands up, elbows in, ones that, here, you got, like I say, you got the other, you got Jake fight a certain way, I might fight a certain way. Levi and then obviously well, all Levi the amateur. Really unique. You know, Levi Cuban sort of style. Like he's, he'll fight a certain way. I might throw a backhand, but like he'll he'll taper everything to the way. Obviously, each individual fighter. It's uh, hard to do that. It was like very very hard as a coach because you might. It, a lot of people generalize the training and generalize them like in the methods behind the training. One 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 style suits all. One style suit. They'll think, oh no, actually, <laughs> I don't like that you've got your hands down. A lot of gyms don't like, but I think, listen, if it's right, if it's broken, you know what I mean. If it's not broken, they'll fix it. Yeah, well, he looks. At, uh, he takes the positives out of every style, yeah. and, yeah, and if yeah. he can enhance any of them, of course, or of he can take a few of those, yeah. what we what we'd say is a bad habit, you know, exactly, whichever exactly. way, you, or he feels he's not working, he'll take that out. But, Add something well, else even in. even going over like stuff to do with like you you like your mindset going into fight and a lot of coaches will be like, oh, you feeling nervous? Oh, it's like you'll be good, you'll do it. But he's going, he breaks down the mindset, the fit, everything. Uh, he's a true. To, to be fair, the, the way I describe the way I describe Andy, he's a pro, he's a proper student of the game. Mm -hmm. And a lot of coaches, the good coaches, but like you need, he's a student. He knows, you know what I mean. You speak to some people, I think like. He sort of, you know what I mean, he knows what he's talking about. His confidence yeah. that comes from his words, yeah. the, the, it translates into yourself, doesn't it? You know, you, you, you feel his confidence, mm. it, 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 it extrudes itself into you, doesn't yeah. it? And suddenly yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't realise he's spent a few words and you go into a fight. Oh, yeah, you feel like, like yeah. yeah. Bit, but it's like how we build you up. It's like I can't say I'd be the same man today if I went to another boxing gym and done like it with them. It's, it's, it's in terms, you got to think boxing, it's past the sport and it's what it does for you as a person as well. So like when I went into the competing, I only went in late about 17, 18, 
But like the whoever, like the man that come out is just like she's like I say black or black and white, mate. It's totally different, well, totally different person. But you just like you putting it. Andy and Steve are in the other room. We're going to go in there in a minute. You're going to put pen to paper. Yeah. Um, is there any idea of, of when you're thinking of you're going to be getting out? Uh, the debut uh, we're going to head for May. Uh, the, the Winter Guard is in Blackpool, Blackpool because I want obviously the home debut, home fight. Without a doubt. The get us on there. Do you know what I mean? And. Uh, and that's it. And as well, it gives me that time because we're only in January now. They did have a, a date in March, but I don't want to rush anything. I can build myself up properly, get the proper sparring. I want to get in there, you know, you know nothing uh, like, like nothing short of stuff. Do you have any expectations then of where you can go? Because, well, I mean, 12 amateur fights isn't a yeah. lot. And I know no, no, of course, at course. a good level, mm. but, but, you know, you were in a gym where you were took to some of the best gyms in, in the country. Yeah, yeah. You know, because of the access Andy could get you. Of course. Um, and like you say, you're sparring with the GB boys and everything. Mm. Where do you, do you feel you can, can go? Well, I, I just, I, nothing short of the top, really. I think it's in for a penny, in for a pound. I was, I more or less quit my job to, to start doing this properly. I, so I believe, this is, this, is, I, this is what I'm doing. I believe there's nothing, there's nothing, uh, nothing comes from doing sort of 50-50. You got a lot of people, man, that, you know what I mean, one foot in, one foot out, this is in for a penny, in for a pound. This, this is two feet then? Yeah, two feet. This is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it to be all right. I don't want people to say, oh, he's decent, you know what I mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to go, like I say, head first into it all. I've got big, big hopes. Not just for me as a person, because I'm, I'm very hungry to do well in this sport, but just look at the coach and I've got behind me. Do you know what I mean? We've got Andy and we've got Brian. And I just think it's, like I say, match made in heaven. It, so it, basically, it's all just stemmed from just a few months ago as well. A few months it? ago, yeah. It's just, it's like I say, I always knew I wanted to fight as a career. Because I just think I can't possibly, you know, you get, you get a lot of people, man. It's like they say, a lot of men live in quiet desperation, don't they? They sit there in their office and you, Listen, you know that you should have something you, you should be living. If you left living. another two or three years, you could, be living, you could be living in doubt for the rest of your doubt. life. And, that, and, and nothing, that's horrible. I'm telling you now, dude, I don't think there'd be a worse feeling what me and him spoke about. Get to 40, seeing these top heavyweights and I'm thinking, they're not that great. And I'm thinking, <laughs> and I could be there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it's just what, it's just what it brings, but past the money and the cars and everything, this it's just there's nothing. I don't think there's anything like there's nothing like. I can't compare fighting and that to anything. No, you know no, no. Like there's nothing say, like I, it. I, 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 obviously, I just watch now, but I, I do. I, I love but exactly. It. Someone who, someone who's competed, like you know yourself. Anything around it, you can't tell me watching a boxing match is the same as watching a football match. No, it's nowhere but near. But you know something? Nowhere near the same thing. Listen, when you support a team and you follow a team, but when you go to to support your mate, you bought your ticket yeah, off your yeah, mate yeah. and you go, that kid will be living every punch you're taking, every punch you're oh, giving. Yeah, yeah. The nerves are worse for yeah. you sometimes in the fight. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, someone so it's, it. it's it's a it's a, uh, a sport that produces. It's a, it's an emotional sport. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, right? highs and lows. When you're emotionally invested in someone, mm. it's the best ride you can ever go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm hoping like. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this right yeah, now. Like no, I'm, I'm very excited. We've not had a heavyweight for a long time. Yeah, it's been a minute. And uh, I think you've got great potential. Thank I know you, you think much. you have. Thank and uh, and like I say, the size you put on mm. in this last four years. Yeah, a few chicken fires and that, do you know what I mean? There, aren't he's gonna benefit yeah, you, yeah, mate. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah. benefit you. Yeah, and I think you could bring something a slightly different to this heavyweight sport because yeah, yeah, I guarantee of that it. movement of yours and you know, you're light on your toes, you move well, you move like a middleweight for a big guy. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> Louis, thank you, yeah. let's go and put pen to paper. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I'll much. be catching up with you a little bit nearer the time when we have a date yeah, and yeah, see how preparation has been going. Yeah, sounds good going forward. Thank you very much, my man. Take Cheers. care, kiddo. Bye, bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.